Hi, I'm Nari Dansari and in this video we're gonna talk about player controller class and what is it for. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video we did talk about the character. We, we create a game mode or a custom game mode and we create a character in it. For example, it can jump when we hit the spacebar and now uh, we set it in our game mode for our default punk class to be our character, okay? So now I wanna show you how you can create this player control class and why you should create that. So let's just create a player controller. Go to content drawer where you wanna create your controller, right click blueprint class, and in here create a blueprint, uh, blueprint class of player controller, okay? I wanna call it BP, my player controller, okay? And double click on it, of course, we can save and compile it and go to our game mode and in here, instead of just using player control that is set by default, change it to our BP, my player control. No, the, the, we change the player control. So let's just go save and compile and go to our player control to see what we can do about that. You can see it's like any blueprint class that we talk about a lot. There is viewport, there is construction script and there is event graph. Okay. And for example, let's say we want to jump whenever they said they had a spacebar let's say you have why you should use player control uh, let's say you have a game that player can change the character uh, change its character okay so like a uh, dragon age for example you can change your character and you can play with other character as well so we you can you you can create that with player controller so now we that create that you remember in the character whenever we we hit a spacebar, it will jump, okay? Now we want to do it in controller. So for that, right click in here and say spacebar, for example. So whenever they hit a spacebar, the character should jump, okay? And with doing this in our player controller, we can control whatever character we have in our game we can change the character very much easy this way and we don't need to implement this jump for and all of the character you just do it once in this controller class in here and you can delete it in here and you don't need it in the character class anymore you do it once in here in the player controller and it happened in all of the character whenever they had the space you decide which character should jump which character the player is controlling and which one should jump okay so you think that because uh, let's say we have 10 character okay we can uh, in this player control we don't know uh which character we are playing so how we can do that if you right click in here you can get player if the player if the the default pawn class that we set in our game mode is a pawn you should get player pawn and if the player that the if the default pawn in our game mode is a character that in this case is our bp my character you can get player character okay and with that we can get the this character and we can uh, force it to jump right in here you can you can see there is a input in here that uh, you can say which player should jump for example if you put zero in here it means player one if you put one in here it means player two so with the return of that you can jump okay so we can jump and now if we connect this press to here and go to BP the over game mode in here and set the player controller class to our controller that we create in here and compile it let me just compile it here and run our game now if we hit the space it should jump right this is the best way to do a uh, control any player you can control how many character you want with just this controller and I will explain it more and more through the videos so please hit that subscribe button and if you like this video so please hit that like button as well it helps me a lot uh, you know this video is for beginners so i won't bore you with more advanced stuff and in future video i will show you how you can change your character how you can do all of movement in this player controller and with that you can control how many character you want you can do it with this thank you very much for watching bye